Today, we're diving into some insanely powerful Siri shortcuts for your smart home. Not just one from me, but also from other smart home YouTubers for a big collab video. We're kicking things off with a shortcut that you can use in your car from Shane Watley. Hey Adam, thanks so much for having me in your video today. Now my favorite shortcut right now is probably one that I created specifically for CarPlay. I talked about this in depth in a video on my channel a while ago, but I improved the shortcut a little bit since then using some HomeKit variables. So the idea here is to basically have Siri give me a morning brief each day when I connect to CarPlay. The shortcut gets the current date, time, location, weather information, and my upcoming calendar events, and then has Siri read it back in a nice brief which plays over my truck speakers once connected to CarPlay. Good morning. Today's date is January 2nd, 2024. It currently feels like 48 degrees on this Tuesday in Lexington. You can expect a high of 52, a low of 31, and a 0% chance of rain. The first event on your calendar today is Shane Physical Therapy at 6 p.m. Buckle up and drive safe. Now I added a few conditions, like I said, to the automation that makes it even better. So it will actually check for a dummy switch that I have set up in my Apple Home called CarPlay Switch. And the automation will only run if this switch is off. And then once the shortcut does run, it will turn the switch on. This way, if I'm in and out of my vehicle, you know, multiple times in a single morning, I'm not having to hear that same shortcut every time I start the truck. Now, I'm fairly new to CarPlay. I just got my first vehicle with CarPlay not too long ago, and it's been really cool to use automations and shortcuts to enhance the experience even further. Hi, Adam, and thank you for having me on the channel. One of my favorite daily shortcut is my morning routine automation. This automation starts as soon as my alarm goes off. First, I have several hue light bulbs set up to simulate the sunrise. I love waking up to the gradual increase in light, which helps me get ready for the day without being blinded by light. To make this work, I use the third-party app called iConnect Hue. I use that to integrate their automation as a Siri shortcut. I used the 30-minute sunrise option and I added in the shortcut app. The majority of the bulbs that I'm using for this automation are color bulbs, but you can use white light if you prefer. While the lights are gradually brightening, my phone dims to 1% screen brightness. That's in case I wanna check any notification while I'm still waking up. Right after that, my air purifier fan turns off. These smart devices are essential for my morning routine because they create a comfortable environment for me to get ready. Finally, at the end of this shortcut, I have my day summary shortcut. This one provides all the information that I need to start my day, including the weather condition, task, and calendar events. Here's how everything works. I have the main shortcut running multiple actions like the sunrise shortcut, the fan turn of action, and my morning summary shortcut. I'll provide Adam with the links to the shortcuts that can be shared. I hope you enjoy my morning routine and that it inspires you to create your own morning automation. Thanks again, Adam, for having me on the channel. What's up, Adam? I'm gonna show you a shortcut that I use whenever I'm gonna watch something on any of my Apple TVs. This shortcut is actually in one of my favorites folders and I keep it here on the Today View so I can just swipe over and tap the Watch Something Shortcut. Now this Watch Something Shortcut is pretty powerful. What it does is it starts by showing me a menu, choosing what room I'm watching in, whether it's our family room, and there I have kind of our whole home theater, the bedroom Apple TV or the living room. I have a bunch of different programs here. The bedroom and the living room, basically have the same three actions. I wake that Apple TV, I set a HomeKit scene, usually lowering the lights, and then I'll show the remote control for that Apple TV on my iPhone. So everything gets ready, TV turns on, and my iPhone is ready to control that Apple TV. But in my family room, I have a few more actions because there I actually have a Hue sync box and gradient light strip that I use with the TV. So when I watch something in the family room, it will wake the family room Apple TV, which wakes up the entire home theater system, it sets a HomeKit scene, which dims the lights, and the Philips Hue sync box actually has actions where I can power it on and start the light syncing behind the TV. After it does all that, then it will show the remote control for that Apple TV on my iPhone. When I run that shortcut, it looks like this. Everything turns on, the Hue sync box starts syncing, the lights are going, and with one shortcut, I'm able to control everything in my home theater, and I'm ready to just press play and watch something. There's a bunch of HomeKit devices attached to that, like Lutron light switches for the ceiling lights and ceiling fan, but the Philips Hue sync box and gradient light strip is what makes the whole cool home theater thing possible. 
If you have an Apple TV or multiple Apple TVs, using a shortcut like that where choosing from a menu, waking the Apple TV, and then showing the control on your iPhone makes the whole experience way better, way faster. One of my favorite shortcuts builds on Steven's Apple TV control, taking it further by allowing you to open a specific movie or show within a streaming app. Yeah, this is incredible. So here's my watch TV shortcut, and when I run it, it wakes up my bedroom Apple TV and asks me what app to open. I'll choose Disney Plus. I'll choose what to watch, either a specific show or movie that I set up in this shortcut, or I can just open the app and browse for something new. In this case, I'll choose my daughter's favorite movie right now, Moana 2. The movie comes up and after a few seconds starts playing, and then the shortcut offers to display the digital remote for the Apple TV for volume, playback control, and navigation. This shortcut makes launching streaming apps and viewing your favorite show or movie much faster, and it works with most streaming platforms. If you use Apple TVs in multiple rooms, then you can customize this shortcut for different shows or movies for each Apple TV, though this does get a bit complex. The shortcut can be personalized with your favorite streaming apps, content, and you can even add emojis to platform names for a bit more pizzazz. Just avoid emoji names when using Siri, as Siri will say the name of the emoji. I'm using a Raspberry Pi and a Homebridge plugin to do this and to create fun automations, like having your lights turn on when you pause the show. I made a tutorial video on how to set all of this up, and I will leave that linked right up here and also in the description if you want to go check that out. Hey everyone, Justin here from Visionary Pass. My favorite shortcut is the ability to open up an app on my Apple TV and to do this automatically. Now I use this as an alarm every single morning. I have the YouTube TV television app to automatically open up on my Apple TV right as my wake up time comes on so I can start watching the news and the television and getting an update on the day. Now all you have to do to create this is just go over and search for the open app on Apple TV um, shortcut. So right here, open app on Apple TV. Once you find that, you can go ahead and select it and then you just select your Apple TV that is nearby. Um, so it can search on the Wi-Fi network. I'm not on Wi-Fi. Let's join on Wi-Fi and it can go ahead and search for all the Apple TVs that are on the network. Um, so I'll go ahead and try that one more time. We'll select Apple TV and then I can say in the office and then I can say open up which app and you can come over and select whichever app that you want to be automatically opened up on your Apple TV. For me, that is YouTube TV. It automatically starts playing um, once it opens up, but you can select any application to open up at any time. I'll go ahead and select YouTube TV and then I press done. And just like that, I have successfully created a shortcut that will open up the YouTube TV app on my Apple TV when it's activated. Now you may be wondering, how do we automate this? How do we get it to automatically turn on? If I wake up at 9 a.m. every morning, so all you have to do is just press that plus button. You can go over and say, uh, you know, at a time of day, if you have a specific wake up time, we can say 11.20 a.m. And then we can go over, the important part is to select run immediately and not to have it say run after confirmation. And then you hit next, and then we can go search for that new uh, one that we created, open app on Apple TV. We tap on it, and now we have a brand new one set for 11.20 a.m. daily. It opens up, and this runs automatically. And that is one of my favorite shortcuts on the iOS platform to automatically be able to open up an Apple TV app, and it wakes me up, and it notify me, and I'm good to go. Um, so I hope you enjoy it, and thanks, Adam, for having me on for this collaboration. A huge thanks to everybody who sent in a clip, and if you want to see more collab videos like these, then comment the word collab down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.